Um, so the book basically explores uh, a paradox at the heart of the Siberian exile system, which is that uh, for the Tsars it is to serve two key functions which, as I sort of argue over, over the course of the book, prove to be completely incompatible. One is colonization and the other is punishment. Uh, so the state's ambition is to press its convicts, its prison population, and indeed their families into useful labour uh, in as part of a wider effort to colonise the Siberian landmass, and um, the reality is one in which uh, exiles and their families are sort of cast, uh, under-resourced, very often destitute, uh, brutalised even, uh, into uh, spaces across Siberia in which they are unable to establish themselves as sort of frontier colonists, and instead end up uh, acting as sort of uh, almost parasitical population, uh, which is feeding off the efforts of Siberia's true colonists, uh, the uh, peasant, the Russian peasant population. Um, and so, over the course of the book, I, I, I look at various themes to do with uh, escapes, uh, the crime wave that exiles visit on uh, the population, the way that the, pro the state's project is terribly underfunded, uh, to to show how this this overarching ambition is one which uh, results in uh, the, the state's uh, colonization efforts being impeded or even subverted by the exile system.